Hi. How's it going? So how is Charming going to feel having to face the evil queen again? Does this feel like <laughs> it's deja vu for real? Thing? I mean, the evil queen is back, and she's back with a vengeance, and she is full on evil. And you know, much like the whole basis of Once Upon a Time, the evil queen going after Snow White and wanting her dead, that's definitely going to be the case, and she's going to go after. His wife, uh, full force, which means she's going to go after Charming too. So, uh, and she's, in fact, she's going to go after all these characters. She's going after, she's going after everybody. <laughs> she's taking no prisoners, and uh, she's really doing some mental manipulation with everybody, and it's going to turn everybody inside of themselves, and they're going to have a, a lot internally to kind of deal with. So we, we know you've only read like up to episode three so far. Yeah. Is there anything you can really tease about what you're going to be doing and who you're going to be maybe interacting with that we might not expect? I mean, we, we know from today that Aladdin and Farah are sort of going to be in music, so let's see. And then, I mean, you're definitely going to see uh, a, 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 a more meaningful friendship grow between Hook and Shani. Um, it just might get rocked by something later on. Um, what else? I mean, well, we know the hide is in the story still around, so you know they have to sort of figure out what his agenda is. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's kind of he's uh, he's there to sort of rock things up as well. So it's great. You've got the Evil Queen, you got Mr. Hyde there, just having a good old time. I mean, I really don't know why we buy real estate in Storyville. It is, it is the worst town in America to live. <laughs> But are you happy that the story is basically going to take place in Storybook this year instead of little alternate places? I think it's been fun to, to sort of play around over the few seasons with all the different worlds that we've gone to. I think, I think this season will be in a different way fun because each character, I think, is going to have to sort of really delve in deep and look at who they are as people this season, probably more so than I think even any, any other season. And you're still going to experience other worlds fairy tale land and we'll still see other worlds other than storybook for sure maybe not as much but you will definitely see those flashbacks how do you think um hook and emma's um relationship is going to evolve this season after the i love you's that happened last year i mean i think it's gonna be it's gonna be I say this every every year it's gonna be complicated <laughs> uh, for in a different way i mean look we know after at the end of last season, but it's true love. And the weight her heart. And the only way that she can save her is to sacrifice her heart at the time to save him. And open the door. And the only way that that door could open was if it was true love. So we know that. So now they have to figure out how how they how they move forward, knowing that because it's such a big, you know, true love is a rare thing, and it's it's such a huge part of the show. Um, and also, I mean, the Evil Queen is back. She's going to be gunning for, you know, Snow and Emma. So who knows how that's going to affect things? And yeah, it could be, uh, it could be, it could be complicated. Uh, they mentioned on the panel that we're going to get much more of sort of Hook's history, some secrets he's been harboring. Can you expand on that a little bit? I mean, I can't really go into it um, because it's such a big story. But it's it's gonna test uh, some relationships that he, that he has in, in, in Storybrooke, and I think it's gonna make him have to sort of reflect on even more on who he was and who he is now, and how can he sort of forgive himself if he, if he can at all for his past. Uh, so I think that that's kind of that's really what's gonna, what it's gonna be. But it, it, it more 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 so than anything, it's just gonna really affect a couple of specific relationships that he has, in, 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 including his relationship. I'm sure that it, I'm sure that it will test. I mean, pretty much a lot of the things that Hook did in his past. Uh, a lot of people wouldn't really be able to forgive. Uh, but Emma has said before that she's willing to move on from that and leave his past to where it is. But at, at the moment, we're, we're not there in the shooting. So we haven't, we haven't read exactly what that's going to be. 
So is the fact that he was brought back from the dead, are we going to see any consequences of that? I don't know. I'm sure that I'm sure that along the way there's gonna be probably going to be something. You know, I mean, again, it's it's one of those things where it's so early for us in the, in the season. And we only with like Eddie and Adam, will, they'll give us little tidbits of just so we know sort of some of the bigger things that we need to know, and then. It's, we read we read the episodes week, week to week or you know similar to the way people watch them. So uh, at the minute I don't know, but I'm pretty certain it, it must it must have some sort of you know consequence or whatever. Uh, you know, much like him having the darkness inside him will always be there in a way. And so there's bound to, bound to be some sort sort of thing from it. Yeah. So, in addition to the storylines that the writers give you to work with to develop your characters, what what do you do to keep your character new and fresh to you and challenging? I mean, I mean, the great thing about it is that they do keep changing it up, so they keep giving you new challenges as an actor to play and, and, and new challenges for the characters to play. So there's always something new happening and, and a new facet to the character that uh, just makes it deeper and uh, more full. So there, there's always they just they just keep writing new things, and it's, that's the great joy. It's also we're looking at the show that it's. Every episode, week to week, is a bit different. You know, um, sort of the relationships, especially within the core characters, are, are all so complex and so. Thin. It's it's always fresh. And, you know, we're looking with an amazing cast and crew in Vancouver, so it's it's just uh, it's it's really fun and fresh every day. Yeah. Some of the collaboration with the other actors also help you to develop your characters. I mean, I think probably, I think probably, you know, like Eddie and Adam will see something that maybe we might have done in some scene and decide, okay, well, we're going to try and develop that. And then they, I mean, obviously the show was written for us, but it's also how people are able to interact with each other sort of defines how the relationships will be on the show too, I think. Is there anyone that you're hoping this coming season that you have more scenes with that you maybe didn't get to in the last season? <coughs> <laughs> uh, really? Really? That was pretty good. I was pretty, pretty satisfied. Really? Really? <laughs> well, actually, it is because it is going to be fun because we are going to have quite a bit to do together this season. So that's going to be interesting, and uh, um, you know because. We don't always get a chance to do that, so it's going to be fun. So the bromance back on. Yeah, the bromance is back on. <laughs> back on and blossoming. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Thanks, Thank you.